Are they real threats? Well, first of all, I would deeply appreciate it in all seriousness mm -hmm. if everybody... I would ask that no one bring up the process to me. <laughs> no, I'm going to continue um, to bring it up. I, I have, I have nothing but love for you and Max, uh, sports and the people like that. I love my colleagues, and I really don't want to cuss people out. I really, really don't. The process is something I despise because I don't know of any black man that would be allowed to lose for three years on purpose okay, and that's continue fair. to work. I'll give you that. I'm not, I, I don't, I don't right. play that game. I, get I despise the process. I don't get that. And I'm saying this not to y'all. I'm saying it to the city of Philadelphia because I'm there all the time. I don't want people walking up the streets. I'm telling you, I'm going to cuss people out. I don't, want, I don't want the organization saying it. I don't want fans of Philadelphia saying it. I don't want to hear it. I can't stand it. That's number one. Number two, the Philadelphia 76ers absolutely absolutely can be a threat with Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons. They're big time. I think they're getting out of the first round. They'll be in the semis, and then they'll probably go home. But I will give them a first-round series win. I don't think they're going home in the first round. I think they're going to be successful in that first-round matchup. Then after that, they're going to have to go against one of those top two teams in the East, and I think that that's where it will end for them. But they're going to be very, very interesting. I can see them winning in the first round, and I can see them taking a semifinal series six or seven games. And I could see why Paul Pierce thinks that if Markel Fultz is the real deal, they can get to the conference finals. I don't think they'll get there. Like you, Stephen A., what I really see, other than uh, the lack of a real deep bench and still they need some more shooters, they also need some more experience. You know, when Magic Johnson had that unbelievable rookie season, he had, at that point in time, maybe the greatest player who ever played the game in Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in an MVP season. And still they needed a lot of help, right? Still they 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 brought in McAdoo and they had, you know, Jamal Wilkes and Norm Nixon and everything. It's hard to even get to a conference finals, let alone get to a championship or win one. And I don't think they have the experience. But it's not impossible because that's how special Ben Simmons is and that's how special Joel Embiid is. Embiid's long-term health is a question, and, and, and with a big guy, you always have to see how the, you know, does he win the war of attrition in the NBA over time, even in this NBA, where you're, you're, it's, it's more, um, you know, three-point shooting and less back-to-the-basket stuff. That still means the centers are running around a lot, and that can be wear and tear in a different way on, on them. But in the short term, provided health, boy, that's not a team anyone's going to want to see. We well, see it the same way around the second round. I think around no. the second round, but they are live. Yeah, but you think, but you're thinking more highly about the 76ers than I do because of Ben Simmons. Joel and B, yes, I love Ben Simmons. I think Ben Simmons is going to be a superstar in this league, but not now because of two reasons: his perimeter shooting and his free throw shooting. And when the playoffs come, the game slows down. And you have time to prepare in a best of seven series. And you're going to see people sending him to the line more and making him shoot perimeter shots more. And when that happens, he's going to struggle. And as a result, everybody around him is going to struggle because he's the creator. He's the orchestrator. He's the extension of the coach on the floor. And you need him to be able to be a threat from the perimeter and from the free throw line. Once that happens with Ben Simmons, Simmons. Max... It's, it's another level. It's another day. The Sixers could potentially win a championship. I totally once agree with that, to that except level, I'll say but not this. not before he hits those free throws. I, I, I totally agree with that, except I'll say this. Simmons is so line. good. Simmons is so good. If he never gets a perimeter, a perimeter shot, he can still win an MVP. That's how good he is if he stays healthy.